Okay, today I'm making salt dough and I'm going to just demonstrate how to do it in two different ways. The first way is with a mixer and you want to use the bread kneading tool on this if you have that on your mixer. If you don't, it's easier to do it by hand, but in this case we're going to do it this way. I have already put in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm putting in my cup of salt and then I'm going to put in two, two cups of flour. There's one. and then I'm going to pour in slowly and as I mix it put the lock on because it's a real thick dough and it will start bouncing one cup of lukewarm water and it should come together and just let it take its time coming together you'll probably need to scrape down the sides of the bowl get it to all mix. See how thick it's getting? Scrape that off and keep mixing that. And it'll come together and start looking really thick, almost like a bread dough, a thick bread dough. So I'm actually going to put that away, put, put that to the side, so we can start on the next one. And this one we're going to do by hand. And I already have the salt and the flour in there, so I'm going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil and one cup of lukewarm water. And we'll just pour it in. And this is sort of fun, you can just do it by hand, you just mix it all together. should come together very thickly. It gets really sticky and gloppy until it's a nice thick mixture. This is actually a little bit soft, so you want to put a little bit of more flour into it. You want a nice thick cons consistency and you want to knead it for quite some time. The longer you knead it, the uh, smoother it gets and the easier it is to work with. And that's how you mix salt dough. And I will show you very quickly. This one's coming together nice and easily. And I'm just going to keep working on that one. And I'm just going to show you what the one looks like in our bowl. And it has also come together really nicely. And that is ready for us to use. Thank you.